Richard the Painter. Uh, I thought I'd give you a look into what I'm doing today. This is my workshop. If you can see that. The Painter. And today we've got a uh, transporter uh, in for a full paint. Just getting the booth up to temperature now, if you can hear it running. Uh, final clean down and then we've got some wet on wet to put on. Uh, you can see we've got um, various repairs, so we need to uh, sort out the bare metal, get it cleaned down and sort it out for wet on wet. So we've got it all panel white now, back in the uh, paint room, we're looking for a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of something to cover the uh, bare metal, so we'll uh, we use a little surfacer, Pro XL, um, I like to, the well might will go over it, but I'm, just like to make sure because uh, we're going to completely different colours full paint just like to make sure we've got any uh, any rub throughs or anything like that dealt with uh, just so uh, we don't have any that's it just so we don't have any issues really shouldn't anyway but uh, spend all this time cleaning and prepping we shouldn't have any problems at all so um, where are we just keep double checking uh, I don't know if I can turn this around actually might make a bit more sense so uh, obviously we're LED, LED lights We've had a few, few little spot repairs, a few dents. Uh, that that one, that one was mainly um, bad paint. I think it's definitely been painted before. Um, so yeah, it was more just sand it out. Um, seal it up with some eye build, just block it back out with the rest of the repairs and then we've prepped the whole van we're going to wet and wet it anyway uh, to seal it in um, and then that gives my base coat something um, something nice and even to go straight on to so we haven't got any trying to hide white well trying to hide blue base coat over white primer that's the main issue. Um, but that looks about right, so we'll uh, um, yeah, we'll look, it looks about covered now. So I just I'll just walk you around so you can have a look. So obviously the van's completely stripped. We've already painted a lot of stuff. Uh, got the roof to paint that's that spectro that we just put on that little surface primer just to cover a bit of base coat just had a because we've had a new arch just had a tiny rub through on the new arch that we've just fitted um, so, so again we've just um, a bit of spectro over that as well. Quite a lot of lack of peel on this one, so we've had to deal with that and all, which is charming. Um, but yeah, I'll have a final check and then we'll get some wet and wet sorted out and get it to on and on at the back shortly. So back again, I've done the um, wet and wet. Uh, so we've 
we've got like a black wound wet because we're going uh, fairly sort of transparent blue, raven blue BW. Um, so we've sealed everything in now with black. Uh, so we're going to let that flash off and then we'll just sort of de nib if we need to. Hopefully it's nice and clean, save me a job. Just double check everything again before we put base coat on. I'll just show you quickly. show you but we've painted just inside the lip most people carpet that or uh, but the customer wanted um, it, it colour coded so we just masked quite far in the vehicle just so we can get this piece and then when he puts his interior panels back on it'll overlap everything nicely so it'll still look like the same colour see we just masked it taking it in there down the side there That's why the masking looks a bit dodgy maybe. Uh, I've had to get it right inside and I wanted to paint it all at the same time if I can. Uh, some people might have done it first or after uh, and then masked it, masked the hole up where it was easier. I thought I'll do it um, all in one hit so we'll give that a go. I've turned the booth down as well a little bit. Um, I don't want it because uh, I need to get right around the van. I've got a slower reducer uh, and a slower hardener, so I sh should be alright. Just turn the booth down a couple of notches, it's freezing outside today, so I did have it up a little bit high just for base coating. But uh, yeah, I'll double check the temperature and then uh, I'll crack on. Right, finally, all done. Thank goodness, it seems to have taken ages today. Trying to make sure it's clean as possible to save on some flat and polishing. Uh, just turn the oven off now, so just have a quick look around it. Still flickering a bit, which is a bit annoying. 
So you see it's all painted, all door shut. Um, yeah, nice colour. It looked good outside. Bit hard to tell in here, we've got LED lights, but outside this colour looks really, really nice. Um, that's this side. Can't quite see the roof because of the, uh, the lighting, but uh, might make more sense now with what we've done in the back here. So we uh, see that side. And then in the back here, you can see it's all colour coded now. So when the uh, doors open, um, it all looks the same colour inside the doors and everything. So, and uh, if you can see the roof, that was a uh, quite quite difficult to paint on your own plus we haven't got an awful lot of clearance above the booth there as well we've probably got about 18 inches and you've got to get a gun with a pot on and an airline without touching the side so it's uh, quite an interesting and i've got a light above my head now I'll move on. All right, that's better. Uh, so yeah we've got to get this uh, um, you know double check Monday morning, see what it looks like, nib and polish, start hanging some doors on and then get it back and then uh, get it out of the workshop. Customer will be pleased, hopefully, that's good. Yeah, just a quick one there, you can still see the uh, doodah transporter. So, Gotta get that done, put back together. Um, it's Saturday, I'm hungry, I want to go in. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll do some more videos and see how it goes. Thank you very much.